A landmark project has kicked off to create a vast digital archive of thousands of natural specimens, all found here in Singapore from as far back as two centuries ago. Now, the specimens will include the first bird, insect, and primate discovered in Singapore to be given a scientific name. Some of them were collected by Sir Stamford Raffles himself, who, as it turns out, was a keen naturalist. Melissa Goh tells us more. The first primate from Singapore to be given a scientific name, Presbytis femoralis. It's also called the Raffles Bandit Langer after Singapore's founder. In fact, Raffles collected this specimen from the island two centuries back. It now resides at London's Natural History Museum. We have also um, digitized them at very, very high resolution. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, um, you're actually able to zoom in you know, mm. to see the features of the, yeah. A bit of a cup for some people, um, but for scientists, of course, you know, they'd be over the moon. In fact, teams from Singapore's Lee Kong Chien Natural History Museum and the British Museum will go even further, performing CT scans on the monkey. Creating a detailed digital specimen can take hours of work. For example, this one of a pit viper snake, which is the first snake to be given a scientific name in Singapore, took over a day to create by cleaning and photographing. It's an especially delicate task. You know, this sample was found in an old general's collection and it's over 200 years old. It's a painstaking task covering 10,000 specimens, but one that will have a butterfly effect of not only helping Singapore fill gaps in its natural history, but also conservation efforts regionally. It's a preferred alternative to having physical specimens brought back. Immortalizing them in digital copies avoids damage to delicate specimens and the need for expensive new facilities, as well as opens up access. This scientific information will be used by scientists from anywhere around the world. If you look at any group of animals, insects for example, you're not going to find one Singaporean or a bunch of Singaporeans that can handle all the insects. Impossible, the diversity is just too great. The experts can come from around the world. The five-year project will give scientists and the public anytime, anywhere access to an open database that includes not only photos of the specimens, but also their histories. We need to bring all fields of human endeavour together. Now this project is a step forward in this respect by fostering a deeper conversation between history and science, between the past and the present, and by bringing the scientists of both museums and both nations together. Launched on Wednesday, Project Signify starts with its first stop in London, where 80% of the natural specimens reside.